So hello ladies and uh, gentlemen, welcome to today's video. So now my name is in fact Eagle and in today's video I'm actually going to be talking about the best gun and best class setup video for the gun in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So now since I took like a few months break, I mean like a two month break uh, from playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3, there has been a few nerfs and bugs with a few weapons. A few of them are the ones that I use but the gun that stands out the most now for me personally is the Cuda. The Cuda is an absolute beast, I absolutely love the gun. I used the gun uh, a pretty lot when the game first come out but I'm starting to get in that sort of Cuda hibernation mode myself right now again and uh, yeah now I'm going to go into the class of the video and go through the things that I use on the gun and why. Now I go with the first attachment which is quick draw. Quick draw is an absolute vital attachment in this game. Uh, obviously since there's no toughness or anything that you know reduces the flinch I think getting every bullet on your opponent is absolutely vital in this game to win in a gunfight and Quick draw just helps it out all the time. You know like you want to have the most best accuracy uh, within the game to actually you know win the gunfights and you know obviously when you get hit you're gonna flinch which is gonna knock your shit off a bit but if you get that first bullet and hold your accuracy then you're just gonna win that gunfight and quick draw really does help you do this even faster now i'm not the type of guy to sort of be super accurate you know hit every bullet never, never miss a bullet so i use fast mags because i do intend to spray a lot when i'm you know got when i've got an opponent weak or if I know there's someone there that I'm at the, I'm the guy at the disadvantage, then I'm going to pre-fire the fuck out of him to make sure I, I've got an advantage on him as well as he has on me. So that's very vital in this game. That's a bit of a, you know, lesson with uh, Deagle. <laughs> Sorry, that was actually really badly encouraging. But anyways, let's get into the next attachment. Grip. Grip is absolutely amazing on this web and it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, the fact that you know most SMGs when you add you know an, an attachment like grip on the gun It doesn't be yeah, you don't you can't really tell much of a difference at like long distances or medium distances But with the CUDA guess what you can yeah, it's absolutely you can destroy people from long ranges Honestly, there's been a few situations that I've been in where I've double jumped while well, like they've been on a head glitch and I've used my first jump in to sort of get that long range kill and you know grip has helped us hit a few with the shots in the head right there and it's honestly it's absolutely wonderful attachment to use on the gun now for the perks uh, well let's get into this basically i do not use any secondary lethal or tactical i like to use a lot of perks on my weapons and a lot of attachments it gets me to my advantage at the most so yeah now that's just that now the first perk that i do use is ghost now i intend to run around a lot with this weapon I honestly think it's a really good weapon for a running gun. It's a really good weapon for holding back, you know, making sure I play smart and stuff like that sort of play style. You know, it's really good for like mostly anything and, and like any situation. And Ghost, since I've run around a lot, I mean, I hate really being on the radar when I'm in the spawns because it does put you at a massive disadvantage. And I mean, UAV is like what, like a 425 score streak? Now, if you cap two flags and get an assist in domination, then you have got a UAV, and that's just like capping two flags. Yeah, it's like, like you know, it's like it's like that easy to get a UAV in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and it has been in every other Call of Duty. And the streak is so powerful. I know it's only on for 30 seconds, but still, that is 30 seconds of you being on the map, and that is 30 seconds out of the game where you can't really, you know, play at your best performance by running in and dropping loads of bodies. Blah, 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 blah. And anyways, now for the second perks, I intend to use fast hands. Fast hands is something that I found out with the perk uh, just a few days ago. And <laughs> I mean, the game's been out for like two months and I'm still finding out new things, you know. Whoa. But uh, yeah, now fast hands makes you aiming faster after sprinting. Now, like I just said, I like to run around a lot with this weapon. I like to run and gun, get in the spawns. And like I said earlier on with quick draw, you know, aiming in faster, you know, better like better in gunfights being aimed in. This perk helps out a shitload. Now I don't really have any other weapon to swap to, but sometimes when I do pick up weapons uh, to go off with, you know, sort of like a secondary, like a backup, then you know that weapon, then the perk does sometimes come in handy for that. But I never really pick up weapons because I have scavenger. Yes, I do use scavenger on my weapon. I mean, I don't really go on many like big streaks with this gun because I've never really tried to. But uh, scavenger is absolutely amazing. Like I said, I like to pre-fire a lot, so I like to have a lot of ammo to uh, be able to depend on. And you know, every time, like you know, like I'm running guns, so it's obvious I'm going to be picking up scavenger packs. 
like 24 7 so this perk is absolutely relevant to me 100% now you can change these perks like to whatever you want I'm just basically giving you sort of what I use and why I use it and you know it might give you a better mindset for what perk uh, so for what perks you sort of use now for this last perk this is like 110% personal to me uh, awareness now awareness might seem pretty disgusting to a few of you folks that will be like, like might be watching and not have headsets but if you've got a headset and you use this perk it's absolutely fantastic I mean honestly the amount of times I've got myself out of sticky situations for sound hovering and you know just knowing where they are is absolutely insane yet like this helped me get a few of my nuclears and it helped me out an absolute shitload but other than that, I mean, that's all it really does, so you can feel free to use Tactical Mask because I know a lot of people do intend to use stuns and it does keep you still for a while, but I've sort of went out of my comfort zone, went, like, went out of my comfort zone to using, you know, Flak Jacket and Tac Mask all the time, and honestly, it's absolutely fantastic to have those two, you know, free perk slots to be able to do anything else with those, you know, uh, like, un like, uh, you know your slots how we get 10 out of 10 you know what I mean? you know what i'm on about but anyways guys now i hope this gun class setup video whatever you want to call it helped you out a shitload uh honestly this gun is absolutely amazing especially with the setup and yeah 10 out of 10 would use again but yeah anyways, so i've been deagle and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and if you have any questions uh, just tweet me at deagles links always in the description as always and yeah i'm out guys peace catch you guys in the next one